Hey guys, it's your girl Rafi again. Sorry it took long to make another video, but I know I promised I was gonna talk about Toulouse Lautrec um, from my previous video, but I thought I'd do a quick one right now um, of one of my copy paintings from one of my favorite illustrators, Rene Grau. Um, so this painting that I did, um, I am about to drop it off the gallery or the KCAC gallery um, to to have it at, for an auction and any proceeds will just go straight to the gallery because it's a non-for-profit organization and they are like super awesome and their support for local artists is just um, magnificent. So this painting is an oil painting. I know I talked about Rene Grell last time. Um, uh, just a little bit of information about this uh, amazing artist. So his real name is Count Renato, Renato Zavaglia Ricciardelli della Caminate, also known as Rene Grau. Um, he was born February 4, 1909 and passed away on March 31, 2004. So he was a fashion illustrator whose exaggerated portrayal of design or fashion design through painting has had a lasting effect in the fashion industry. So because of his inherent skills and creativity, he has contributed to a change in the entire fashion industry through the new pictures that represented the already popular designs by designers in the industry. Um, so he has benefited the industry, which included economic stimulation, an enhancement of advertising are still present in the industry today via new way of fashion illustration and photography. So all of that is in Wikipedia. I just read it. This is not a scripted um, blog, but try my best. Not really, but try. Um, so this artwork that I am about to show you, um, it was launched in the 1972 Dior uh, Diorella brand of perfume. Um, so you can see in the background, it's a vibrant color. So one of the reasons why I love this artist is because he has this creativity and, and is, has this talent of picking the colors um, that would brighten up an entire room. I don't know if it's exaggerated, but this, these are like vibrant colors paired with dark colors and it's during that time I guess it wasn't they probably thought it's not gonna work but even now as you can see it's still it still looks modern um, and it works at least for me but it does work <laughs> um, so yeah, I will show you my painting right now. It's um, oil on canvas. It's 24 by 24. Um, and uh, I actually just changed the background and make it look more... Um, more uh, creative, maybe. So it's not just a plain yellow green, but I really love this color. Um, but I am gonna put this in an auction and um, see if somebody does it. Anyways, I will take, I'll let you guys take a closer look to my um, oil painting. So this one is copied from the Kristen Dior's Diorella perfume in 1972 at advertisement. Hey guys, so here is the uh, a close close-up look of my um, copied Rene Grau's uh, illustration and this one is on oil um, so I I don't know if that's like that shows up the right color but um, so just want to take a close-up on this so what I did was um, I painted the canvas um, yellow green before I added all all the details in there. Um, so after after the background, 
Um, what I did was sketch this woman. I know it doesn't look exactly like, like the original um, painting or illustration, but um, I tried. <laughs> so after that, I, um, I sketched this woman and then I painted it. Um, it, it took me a while to, to figure out how I can get the hair crazy but not too crazy. So what I did is I painted them, I think it was Van Dyke Brown, and then after that I just used my, my painting knife and just scrape it so that the hair would look a little bit crazy and it came out really well. And so her shirt, I'll show you, I'll show you an original painting on the side. Um, so her shirt is, is uh, I think I use medium. Hansa yellow, no, just a medium yellow pigment and then just added a little bit of shade of yellow ochre and maybe um, a yellow green would actually make it look more, um, more or le uh, lesser, less plain. Um, and then I, I put a line on the, I put, a, I put like a, this one's Van Dyke brown outline just to make the the woman pop up so you can see that she's holding a perfume there and that's um that's the advertisement for the DRL perfume um and then the pants it was supposed to be like a lot more white and less shading but I decided mine would actually look better if I put a little bit of shade of yellow and some brown in there and maybe a little bit of yellow green and so as my um my high heels. It doesn't look like high heels, <laughs> but um, I thought the red would work. Um, uh, red and pink and white. Um, it would contrast to the yellow green. So after that, when I finished doing this in the yellow green background, I thought mm, something's like lacking, you know. I thought it didn't really satisfy me when I when I thought like I finished my painting. So what I did is I got some darker shade of green, it's probably sap green, I think. And then I just um, used my knife and just started like scraping it, like just different parts and then some yellow as well. So so that's that's how I ended up with that um, artwork. Um, I think it works, I, th I think, in my own honest, genuine opinion as an artist, um, this, this looks pretty amazing and very decent. I mean, it's not going to be the same exact, um, art like, like Renee's, which, you know, I, that wasn't my intention when I, when I started painting this. I just wanted my own style in there and I didn't really want to copy the same exact, um, same exact illustration that he did um, I think I'm uh, I'm very happy with the result anyways um, this was just hanging on my wall and I thought like you know I can't keep all my paintings <laughs> so I need to get this out there and actually show people what I can do um, and make some more um, I'm planning to just sell or to just have the proceeds to directly go to the, the organization. So yeah, I hope you like it and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye!